Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W46A of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be talking again about uh, smooth stone generators. Um, this one comes from a suggestion by YouTuber Shadow8472. Um, in one of the uh, in a comment in one of my other videos, he mentioned that he'd like to see a, a version of these uh, four piston stone generators suitable for Skyblock and. Uh, I thought that might be fun to design, something that's kind of minimalistic, and so I, I removed all the bells and whistles and, and kind of stripped it down and um, shrunk it and rebuilt it. Uh, in the end, this is more or less a, a complete redesign, uh, just keeping the, f the, the framework of the pistons here, um, even even though they're actually a little bit closer together. Uh, but this one actually is really fast. It's um, it's probably even a little bit faster than uh, um, than my other one, and that's because the uh, the pulse that's driving the clock up on top there is a little bit shorter. So. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and show how to build this thing. Um, this is probably, uh, like I said, might be of interest to people playing Skyblock. Um, but uh, it is a little bit more complicated to build, uh, and it doesn't have an on-off switch um, uh, like my other one does. Uh, so if you're looking for something that maybe is a little bit uh, uh, more better suited to, uh, you know, kind of standard vanilla Minecraft, uh, maybe wanna, you want to check that one out, or, or maybe another one uh, that's floating around the web. This is really just something that's very, very minimalistic. Uh, in fact, um, these are all the materials that I'm going to need to build it. I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, not even a stack of slabs, uh, a single ladder, a few signs, um, and, and of course when you're playing Skyblock, this is the expensive bit, um, you know, all totaled here plus the redstone and the pistons, that's going to be 46 redstone. So this is not something that you're going to be able to build in, uh, unless you already have a hostile mob farm. Uh, and um, uh, you're also going to need 10 iron ingots between the pistons and the hopper here. So, um, so all told, this really isn't too bad. Um, but again, you know, there's a significant redstone and iron requirement here. So um, keep that in mind if you do uh, decide to try to build this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, build this in creative mode, uh, just to give you a sense of uh, how it can be done. Uh, because it is a little bit a uh, little bit wonky there's uh, slabs all over the place and and I am using stone slabs rather than cobblestone slabs just to make it a little bit easier to tell uh, where they get placed uh, okay so I'm going to actually build it on top of my crafting table and furnace and infinite water source here uh, let me get some stuff and let's see ladder piston sign um, repeaters and dust Okay, so I'm going to lay down my chest uh, right here, and uh, in back of it, in the middle, I'm going to place the hopper going into the chest. Um, this is going to be exactly the middle of the device here, uh, and I'm going to lay a ring of bottom half slabs all the way around this hopper here. So just like that. Uh, come over here to the front, uh, and uh, um, next to the chest, I'm going to place two more slabs to uh, place to put my ladder and go up on top here. Okay. Uh, and I'm temporarily going to temporarily going to place a slab there, uh, and I want to place a piston against the side of that facing inward. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that slab back. Okay. Now I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to make a ring of top half slabs and pistons all the way around. So slab, 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 and I want to place an inward facing piston right there, so I'm going to move around to the side here. Okay, slab, 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 and again a piston. Another corner of slabs, and one more piston. And I'm not going to join the corner here because I just end up taking that out in a second. Um, let me go ahead and put signs on the back of each of these pistons. And I'm going to go ahead and reclaim these corners here. Okay, and um, head back up here. Okay, I'm going to throw down the, the repeaters here. Um, on the one that kind of faces into the piston, um, that's going to be a one-tick re repeater, and on the other, other side that faces into the corner, that's going to be a two-tick repeater. So one-tick, two-ticks, one-tick, two-ticks, 
one tick, two ticks, one tick, and two ticks. Now I'm going to lay two slabs on top of each piston. And I'm going to put two slabs in the corner. I'm going to place the slab against the side of the repeater there. I don't want to place it down here. I want to place it just a little bit higher, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to do that in each corner. All right, um, now there uh, on two sides, I'm going to place uh, temporary blocks and I'm going to place uh, slabs in the corner here and also on the other side here and go ahead and reclaim those uh, temporary blocks here. This one fell down in the hopper and another one down in the hopper. Okay, I'm going to go get those back. Okay, uh, back up here. Uh, all right, so now I need to choose two corners. I'm going to choose that corner over there. So my, my ladder is down here. I'm going to choose that corner over here, uh, over that corner over there, and this corner over here. And I'm going to place two blocks and then one block on each side of that little pillar. And then I'm going to reclaim the two blocks in the corner and replace those two blocks with just a top half slab. So it's like a floating L shape. I'm going to do the same thing in that corner over there. So two blocks and then one on either side. Go ahead and reclaim the two in the corner and replace those two with just a top half slab. Okay, and my ladder is over here. Now I need to place uh, a, a top half slab right in the middle and one over this block here. So I'm going to come with a couple of temporary blocks, uh, temporary slabs there. There's my slab over the middle. And there's my slab over that. And so I'm going to reclaim these two here. There's one and two. Okay. And now I'm going to place uh, two slabs on top of this one in the center, up two, and then two slabs on either side. So my ladder's down here, two and two. And then I'm going to place one as a little wing over here and another as a little wing over here. Hop up in the middle. And I need to finish this off with uh, three slabs kind of going around the corner here. And then go ahead and reclaim the two slabs right in the center. Now I'm going to place two slabs on this corner extension over here. One, two. I'm going to place a slab on the outer, e uh, outer corner on each side of the outer corner there. And I'm going to place a temporary slab right here that's kind of coming towards the middle. Go ahead and reclaim these two. And then this, I, I need a slab right over the middle. I'm going to reclaim this temporary one here. And then I need uh, another slab right here and another slab right here. Um, so I've got uh, this, uh, this kind of floating slab in the middle and a little bit of an extension. My lava is going to go here, uh, my lava source block, and um, the way in which this is shaped is going to kind of direct how the lava gets split and flows into the device so that I actually have four points where the lava is touching the water. Okay, I need to add in my redstone though. Uh, on these wings over here, I need to put redstone. Those go into a center block, and I need to place redstone on the center block that's underneath this one here. Now, that redstone looks black because the light level inside there is actually zero, um, because it's uh, completely surrounded by solid blocks that don't let light pass through. Uh, even though you can kind of see through the gaps in the slabs, they don't let light pass through, and that's why it's a uh, light level zero in there. Uh, okay, so I have these little L-shaped corners. Um, I need uh, three redstone on there. And then I need, uh, on my repeaters there, I have that repeater loop that goes around kind of that bottom layer. Um, in the middle of the two repeaters on each side, uh, on top of the block, I need a dot of redstone. Or a redstone wire, I guess. Okay. That is it for the redstone. Let me hop back down here. Uh, and let's see, the last thing, I need to add in the other piston. Now, um, 
this is uh, it needs to be placed against that floating middle block up there and this is a little bit hard to do if you place it and it, uh, it kind of points over to the side um, you just need to try a different orientation so see that it's pointing over to the side um, and, and that will happen if uh, if you're facing north or west so if you're facing south or east it will actually um, uh, point downwards and there we go and uh, yeah I'm, I'm facing uh, I'm facing south here so if you're facing south or east it'll point downwards if you're facing north or west it'll point to the side so uh, just change your orientation if it's pointing out to the side uh, okay and uh, now I need to uh, add in my water but uh, I need to park my lava source block temporarily let's just put it here for a moment okay now um, I've got uh, these four pistons going around in the circle here. In the corners of that little area, I want to place a water source block in each of the corners. So there's two over there, and there's one up here, and there's uh, one over there. So there's one there, there's one there, one right there, and number four over here. It's a little bit hard to see through the water, but uh, there it is. Okay, so that's uh, completely filled with water there. Uh, now I'll go ahead and get my lava back. Okay, I'm going to go up and place my lava into this little corner up here, uh, right here. It goes right here, and it's going to flow all the way down. It's going to flow here. It's going to get um, it's going to get split right here, so it'll flow in two directions. And uh, in this corner over here, it'll split again, flow in two directions, and the same thing will happen in the opposite corner over there. Let's head down and we should see some of this water turn to stone. Just a second as soon as the lava flows down. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, now the only thing left to do here is to start the clock. Um, I need a, a one tick pulse to get this going and I'm just going to use two redstone torches to do that. Um, partly because it's cheap and partly because it's easy. Uh, I'm going to reclaim these uh, two slabs for a moment. Okay, I'm going to put a redstone torch underneath here and then a redstone tor torch on top. If I place the redstone torch against the bottom, I try to place it against the bottom of this block, it'll actually get placed on the top here. And because there's a redstone torch underneath it, uh, it will immediately shut off, but not before it causes a one tick pulse to start to propagate through the clock. So there we go. Let's uh, reclaim this stuff here and go take a look. Okay, yeah, we can see our, our one tick pulse zipping around this clock here. Um, uh, I've got uh, the slabs here are useful. Oops, fall off uh, half slabs. All right, so um, the, the slabs here are useful because the redstone can travel up, uh, uh, up slabs, but not down, and that's preventing signal uh, from one part of the circuit from kind of bleeding back into another part and causing a problem. Uh, but it's all set. Uh, it's um, it's actually pretty fast. It's, it's pretty much going to produce stone as fast as you can mine it. So um, uh, this is um, it's relatively cheap. I, I mean, uh, yeah, 46 redstone and, and um, is kind of expensive when you're playing uh, Skyblock, um, but it's doable. Uh, as is the 10 iron, uh, and uh, it's reasonably fast. Uh, you can AF AFK this for quite a while if you uh, manage to get some decent equipment. Um, and um, I think that's it. So <laughs> uh, if you have uh, any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and uh, thanks very much for watching.